Hello there, uh, Callum here from CallumK.com. So this morning what I'm doing is just having a play around with this, uh, which is a Node MCU uh, microcontroller, uh, which is essentially this chip here, which is an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip, uh, which has four megabytes of RAM, RAM? Memory. Uh, built into it and Wi-Fi. Uh, they've been kind of taking the Internet of Things stuff uh, by storm at the moment and this is one of the first really development boards to come out. But there are a couple of issues with programming it at the moment so I'm just going to run through what those are and how to fix them. Um, so the version I am using, I think you can probably see, uh, maybe right on the front there, if you can't, never mind. Uh, it's basically version 0 0.9 and uh, the 5th of the 12th, 2014. So that's the one I'm working with. Uh, this currently has the chip on it, which I think is a CH340G chip um, right there. My understanding is they're going to replace that with a new chip in the next version because you can't get signed drivers uh, on OS X for that chip. So I think they're replacing it. But that's the serial converter at the moment. So that's what we're working with here. So I'll jump into my IDE and show you what's going on here. Um, but essentially what I'm doing today is trying to program this with the new Arduino IDE that has come out that allows you to program this with the Arduino IDE instead of either with Lua, which is one version of doing it, or with just kind of the expressive uh, C++ IDE. Now I can do it with Arduino. So I'll be showing you how to do that. Enough of the boring stuff. Let's get on to showing some code. Okay, so this is where I am going to start. Uh, essentially, the ESP8266 project have got an Arduino IDE which they have released, and there are builds for Linux, Windows, and OS X, which is great. So I've downloaded this one, uh, the latest Mac edition, and I renamed it ESP Duino, just so I could distinguish it from my actual Arduino IDE, and I've opened it. It seems to be pretty much exactly the same, uh, as far as I can tell, except for a couple of weird GUI changes here and there, but um, other than that, it seems to be the same. So what I have here is uh, just the default uh, examples, ESP web server hello server example. So I put that in here, haven't really made any changes, I added just a call for slash Callum, uh, just so I could try something else out, and I put in my Wi-Fi details at the top, I won't show those, um, because I don't want any of you hopping on my Wi-Fi network should you happen to drive past my house. So... That is how we do that. What I'm going to do now is I have the ESP plugged in, you'll just have to trust me on that, and I'm going to click the upload button. Uh, I've set the port to the correct USB serial port, the program is set to ESP tool, and uh, the board is set to generic ESP board. So that's done, and I click upload, and we'll see what happens here. So we're compiling, 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 still compiling, and error essentially it kicks you out, which is not exactly what we want. But we have no fear. All we need to do is make sure that we copy the name here, like that. So this is the, the destination where it's put our bin files, two bin files, one at address 0, one at address 0x4. And then we can use terminal to upload it using the standard ESP tool Python, which most of you will probably know how to use by now. So this is the command you'll want, esptool.py. And we have a port, give it the port number, that's the USB serial adapter, and then we write to the zero address space the first file made, and to the 0x4 the second address file made. This is a really simple command, I'll try and put that in the comments when I upload. Obviously you will need to change whatever uh, C++ files you need, but they're easy to obtain and they're easy to find because they're just whatever's listed here. So we take that, copy it verbatim straight in there, press OK, and Python goes through and does all of the writing stuff. I'll probably just skip forward here to the end of the writing because it will take about 15 seconds. OK, fantastic, we're all uploaded. Um, so what I'm going to do now is jump into my cool term, uh, which is a great little serial application, and I've set up the settings already, so serial port, talking at 115200, that's fine, so we can connect spit out some garbage first and then eventually ta -da, it has connected to my address and it spits out which IP address it's on. So that's fine, I can copy that, uh, that Wi-Fi address and let's spit it straight into Chrome. Ta-da! There we go, we have hello from ESP8266. And should I want to append anything like inline, it will give me a different message, 
or my name and I've set it to give me another message as well. So pretty easy to do. So once again, those steps, what you need to do is compile it from within the Arduino software. Then you want to take the two bin files which are generated. You can see them here, zero bin and four, four bin. Use the standard ESP tool to upload them and you'll have no problems.